Well, good morning. God bless you all this morning. And God keep me this morning. I just thank God for waking me up this morning and starting me on my way. And here I am, blessed today. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want to read real quickly uh, out of Deuteronomy. I'm going to read about the old. Praise God. I'm going to read about the old this morning. You know, I'm going to read about call, a call to love God. And obedience also. But first I'm going to read here about uh, a new copy of the covenant. A new copy of the covenant. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 10. Uh, start with verse 1. It says, uh, At that time the Lord said to me, She sealed out two stone tablets like the first one. Also, make a wooden arch, a scar chest to store them in. Come up to me on the mountain, and I will write on the tablet the same word that were on the one you smashed. Then place the tablet in the ark. So I made an ark of arcasia, wood, and cut two stone tablet like the first, you know, like the first two. It says, Then I went up the mountain with the tablet in the hand. Once again, the Lord wrote the Ten Commandments on the tablet and gave them to me they were the same words the lord has spoken to you from the heart of the fire on the day you were assembled at the foot of the mountain then i turned and came down the mountain and placed the tablet in the ark of the covenant which i had made just as the lord command me and the tablet are still there in the ark the people of Israel set out from the wells of the people of Jacob and traveled to Marcia, where Aaron died and were buried. You know, were buried and buried. His son Elijah ministered at high priest in his place. Then they journeyed to the God God and from there to Jabbok, a land with many brooks and streams. At that time, the Lord set apart the stride of the Levi to carry the ark of the Lord's covenant and to stand before the Lord as this, you know, stand as the Lord as stand before the Lord as His minister, and to pronounce blessing in His name. These are their duties to do, you know, to do this day. <clears throat> That is why the Levites have no share of property or possession of land among the other Israelite tribes. The Lord himself is their special possession as the Lord your God told them. And that's also in the book of uh, Numbers chapter 18 verse 20 through, um, <clears throat> through 24. As for me, I stayed on the mountain in the Lord present for 40 days and nights. As I had done the first time, and once again the Lord listened to my pleas and agreed not to destroy you. Then the Lord said to me, Get up and resume the journey and lead the people to the land I swore to give to their ancestors, so they may take possession of it. And the next verse talks about a call love, a call to love and obedience. Verse 12 says, And now in Israel, what does the Lord your God require of you? He requires only that you fear the Lord your God and live in a way that please Him and love Him and serve Him with all your heart and soul. And you must always obey the Lord's command and degree that I am giving you today for your own God. I mean, for your own good. You know, I'm giving you this, I'm giving you this commandment for your own own good look the highest heaven and the earth and everything in it i mean everything in it all belongs to the lord your god yet the lord choose your ancestors as the object of his love and he choose you their descendant above all other nations as it evident <clears throat> i mean as is the evident today therefore change your heart and stop being sub stubborn for the Lord your God is a God of God and the Lord of Lords. He is the great God, the mighty and awesome God, who shows no particularity and cannot be bribed. He ensured that it, he, he ensured that Oprah 
and widows receive justice. He shows love to the foreigner living among you and give them food and clothing. So you too must show love to foreigners for you yourself were once foreigners in the land of Egypt. You must fear the Lord your God and worship him and cling to him. Your oaks must be in his name alone. He alone is your God, the only one who's worthy of your praise the one who has done these mighty miracles that you have seen with your own eyes when the ancestors went down into egypt these were only 70 of them but now the lord your god has made you as numerous as a star in the sky and this also the book of uh genesis chapter 46 verse 27 and also I want to share a little bit reading out of, here, uh, out of chapter 11. It said, you must love the Lord your God and obey all his requirement, degree, regulation, and command. Keep in mind that I am not talking now to your children who have never experienced the discipline of the Lord your God or seen his greatness and his strong hand and powerful arm. They didn't see the miraculous signs and wonders he performed in Egypt against Pharaoh and all his land. They didn't see what the Lord did to the armies of Egypt and to those and to their horses and, and chariots, how he drowned them in the Red Sea. As they were chasing you, he destroyed them, and they have not recovered to this very day. Your children didn't see how the Lord carried for you in the wilderness until you arrived here. They didn't see what he did to uh, Dothans and Ophrens and the sons of uh, Eli's and descendants of Re Reuben's. When the earth opened its mouth in the Israelite camp, see the op when it opened the mouth, his, his mouth in the Israelite camp, and swallowed them along with their household and tent and every living thing that belongs to them. But you have seen the Lord perform all these mighty deeds with your own eyes. Praise God. Hallelujah. You seen them with your own eyes. Glory be to God. And um, the next, you know, uh, verse it talks about the blessing of obedience. The blessing of obedience. It said, therefore, be careful to obey every command I am giving you today. So you may be, so you may have strength to go in and take over the land you are about to enter. If you obey, you will enjoy long life in the land the Lord swore to give to your ancestors and to you. Their descendant, a land flowing with milk and honey for the land you are about to enter the you know and take over is not like the land of egypt from which you came where you plant your seed and made irrigation dishing with your foot as in a vegetable garden it says rather the land you will soon take over is a land of hill and valley with plenty of rain a land that the lord your god cares for he watches over it through each season of the year. And that's also the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 6 through 7. Verse 13 says, If you carefully obey all the commands I am giving you today, and if you love the Lord your God and serve him with all your heart and soul, then he will send the rain in the proper season, the early and late rain, so you can bring in your harvest of grain, new wine, and olive oil. He will give you lust pasture land for your livestock and you yourself will have all you want to eat. But be careful. Don't let your heart be deceived so that you turn away from the Lord and serve the worship, you know, and serve the worship of other gods. If you do, the Lord's anger will burn against you. He will shut up the sky and hold back the rain and the ground will fall to produce its harvest. Then you will quickly die in that good land the Lord is giving you. So commit yourself wholeheartedly to these words of mine. Tie them to your hand and wear them on your forehead as reminders. Teach them to your children. Talk about them when you are at home and when you are on the road 
when you are, you know, when you are going to bed and when you are getting up. Write them on the doorpost of your house and on your gate so that as long as the sky remains above the earth, you, your children may flourish in the land the Lord swore to give your ancestors. Be careful to obey all these commandments I am giving you. Show love to the Lord your God by walking in his ways and holding tightly to him. Then the Lord will drive out all the nation ahead of you through they are much greater and stronger than you, and you will take over their land. Wherever you set foot, that land will be yours. Your frontier, your frontier, your frontier will stretch from the wilderness in the south to Lebanon in the north, and from the Euphrates River in the east of the Mediterranean Sea in the west. No one will be able to stand against you. For the Lord your God will cause the people to fear and dread you. As he promised wherever you go in the whole land. And that's also in the book of Genesis chapter 15 verse 8. And verse 26 here says, Look today, I am giving you the choice between a blessing and a curse. You will be blessed if you obey the commands of the Lord your God that I am giving you today. But you will be cursed if you reject the command of the Lord your God and turn away from him and worship God you have not known before. When the Lord your God bring you into the land and help you take possession of it, you must pronounce the blessing and the curse at Mount Ebel. Two, it says, these two mountains are west of the Jordan River in the land of the Canaanites who live who lives in the Jordan Valley near the town of Gigel, not far from the oaks of Mara. Maria. For you are about to cross the Jordan River to take over the land, the land, it says, the Lord your God is giving you. When you take the land and are living in it, you must be careful to obey all the degree and regulation I am giving you today. Praise God. And that's also in the book of Genesis chapter 12, verse 6. And this is what the Lord said. Praise God. I read uh, Deuteronomy chapter 10 and chapter 11. Praise God. Talking about a, a new copy of the covenant. It talks about a call to love and obedience. In verse 11, it talks about the blessings of the obedience. And I know you all want to be blessed and continue to be blessed. You want to continue to keep God's commandments. You want to keep on doing what He said to do. You want to keep on loving one another. You want to keep on sharing and encouraging and lifting one another up. You want to just keep on keeping on smiling, keeping your joy, you know, and living right and doing what's right at all times, not just behind closed doors. You want to keep on continuously, you know, to live a long and strong and happy and wealthy life, you know, within Christ Jesus. You know, nothing works without God. You will always be obedient to Him and, and trust Him and know man on this earth you know can't do you like God can do you no other man on this earth can't treat you like God can treat you no other man on this earth didn't wake you up this morning like God woke you up this morning praise God hallelujah so hold on and steadfast to God's word meditate on it day and night you know and that way you will be all right Hallelujah. And share with your kids. Talk to somebody about the Lord. Some, talk about, some, tell somebody about the goodness of what Jesus has done for you. All that he has done for you. Don't leave nothing out. Leave it. Tell them about all that he done for you. And that way you will. I mean, you know, you can just share with somebody. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, because God is God. The word is the beginning all the way to the end. What's in the old is in the new. You can keep on continuing to hold on to the word. You know, meditate in the day and night. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And God bless you. Thank you for tuning on me once again. I'm praying for each and every last one in spite of what you're going through. Like I always say, I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you're facing. All I know is you and God know. Only God know. Only God know. God see you what you're going through. But God, he's the only one can bring you out. If you believe, if you just trust in him, you just hold on. Don't stop and don't quit. God will bring you out one way or another. He will get you out one way or another. Yes, he will. If you just believe and trust in him, glory be to God. Heavenly Father, I pray for those that's watching. God bless you today and God keep you. I pray you just be strong and meditate on the world day and night and be obedient to God and do what he say do.
keep his commandment in Jesus' name. When you trust in everybody else, kept somebody else's commandment, whatever they told you, you know, you know this world number to lie, lie, lie. But God's not going to lie. Keep God's commandment. Try something new. Try something different. Try God's way. Try living for Jesus. Glory be to God. Well, you know you can't find nobody else to live for. Don't want to live for nobody else. Live for Jesus. Live and do what he wants you to do. You know, have that long life and courage life and good life within him. You know, and uh, you know, keep that hold, keep that strong hold of the world. You know, and just you know, just do your do. You know, they don't want to do what you want to. They don't want to do what's right. Don't even worry about the don't, 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 don't even worry about the the undoings. You know, you just do your dues in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Just pray for them. Just pray for the rest. You know, you just know you just need to do your best in Jesus' name. I pray. Now I bring every sickness and every disease right now. I pray, Lord, to be with you and keep you strong. And I pray he'll heal right wherever you hurt, wherever you're painting. You may have a sore throat. You may have a nose popped up. You may have a flu. I don't know what you have, what's going on. You may know somebody that may not be feeling good. I rebuke all that sickness in Jesus' name. And by his strike, you are healed. They are healed. Glory be to God. You know, sickness may come, but sickness can't stay. In Jesus' name, I pray. It just bypasses. You know, it ain't just a temporary thing. It just believe it's only temporary. God is already, God already healed you. God already healed whoever is sick right now. If you just call on the name of the Lord, just know and believe that he healed you. You already healed in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. God bless you today as well as every day in Jesus' name. And I rebuke every uh, demon that's trying to stop you or whatever. The devil's trying to stop you and get in your way. You don't try to stop you and try to stop your blessing. The devil can't stop your blessing because the devil don't know when your blessing's coming. You know, he may see and feel something been good for to happen, but he don't know when it's going to happen. I just pray you to stay on course, be strong, do your dude. You know, don't fall off course because somebody made you mad. They want you to fall off course. They want you to fall short for you, know, for you to miss your blessing. No, you stay strong. Keep on going on. Keep on doing what's right. In Jesus' name, I pray. And I just uh, pray that in the name of Jesus, that the angels be around you. I pray, Lord, that God is angels around you. Protect you in every area of your life in Jesus' name. You may be at home, chilling, relaxing, on a plane. Uh, uh, I don't know. Just watching me. I don't know. I just pray you participate and hold your hands up and thank God. You know, and pray with me in Jesus' name. And receive this prayer in Jesus' name. And believe this prayer. Believe and call them things that be not though they were in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. You might, somebody may have back pains right now. I don't know what kind of pain you may have, what's going on. But I rebuke that in Jesus' name. And by his strike, you are healed. Glory be to God. And I rebuke high blood pressure, low blood pressure, sugar diabetes, all the beaters, whatever, in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. I rebuke all that heart disease and cancer in Jesus' name. I just I just know my God's a healer. He healed you right now today. In Jesus' name. Glory be to God. No matter what you look like, no matter who you are, no matter where you're from. You know, it's about where you're going. In Jesus' name. I pray the Lord is be with you and keep you well. You and your family. In Jesus' name. Glory be to God. God bless you today. In Jesus' name. I pray no weapon form against you shall prosper. In Jesus' name. I pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey, man, you are somebody, you just stay strong, do your do, don't worry about the don't, you are blessed in Jesus' name. Glory be to God, and God bless you, and God keep you. Remember, God love you, and so do I. Until next time, you have a blessed weekend. Be good to one another. Love one another. Share the word with somebody. Tell somebody you love them. Say, tell somebody you happy to be here. You may ain't seen them in a while. You know, tell them you know, you know you're so happy to see them alive. Glory be to God. And it's a blessing that somebody's alive to tell somebody, I'm glad to see you and really mean it. Praise God. I ain't talking about one of them people just be like, well, I'm glad to see you. And they really don't mean it. Just be really glad to see that person. Praise God. God bless you and God keep you. See you later next time. If God say the same.